Hello. We all know how lovely it is to bid in an auction with partner completely uninterrupted by our opponents. It means we can follow our system and try to reach a nice comfortable contract. An overcall by the other side more often than not changes all that. Got a hand from a playing session uh, last week, which I'm going to show you because it just uh, it just highlights how problems are created when opponents overcall. But we'll also look at uh, some solutions and how to work out what to rebid. All right, so you're sitting south here, 13 high card points, got a five card suit and a four card major. This is quite a nice hand. I think the plan here will be to open one diamond. Hope you'll agree with that. We're going to open our longest suit. Um, and then, well, it depends on what we get from partner. If partner uh, were to bid a heart, for example, then we can bid our spades at the one level, which would be very convenient because that would be a good way of us showing that we have five diamonds and four spades because we've bid our longest suit first. Or partner might bid a spade, in which case we can support spades. It would be more difficult if um, partner bids clubs. But let's, uh, let's see what actually happened. So one diamond was the bid made um, by South. Partner bid one heart. And then East came in and bid two clubs, which is really a nuisance. Because now the plan to rebid one spade uh, is gone out of the window. We can't bid two spades. We're not strong enough for that. We're going to have a look at that in a minute. So what are our options? Well, we could think about passing, but I just wanted to say that you don't have to bid in this position. You don't have to make a rebid just because partners change suit. Now, and that is because East has um, made a bid and got in the way of your auction. Normally, if you open a suit and partner changes suit and then you make it, you promise that you will make a rebid. And the reason for that is to keep the auction open so that partner has chance to bid again, especially if they have a strong hand. But here we don't need to keep the auction open because East has done that for us. North will get chance to bid again. So we do not have to bid here. And if we've got nothing else to say, then we can pass. However, I quite like this hand and I would like to do something with it. So I'm not going to pass. What about rebidding those diamonds at the two level? Some of you might well think of that. Um, but for me, that's not really strong enough. I would like a six card suit ideally there to do that or a much better, a more solid suit rather than just the ace king or even just a, a generally stronger hand um, might make it more of um, more of a useful option. But for me, I'm not uh, I'm not sure that that's good enough to bid two diamonds. Two spades we've already mentioned. If we bid Spades at the two level here, that will be what we call a reverse, or some of you might call it bidding over your barrier. If you remember your barrier is when you, when you open this one diamond, your barrier is two of that suit. And you only make a bid higher than that, that is higher than two diamonds when you've got a really strong hand and you want to let partner know. And a really strong hand here is going to be at least 16 high card points. And so we are much too weak to bid two spades. 
if if we do that we'll be saying oh look partner i'm really strong please pay attention and um, let's bid on it would be a forcing bid so two spades is out and so there's only one thing left that i can think of to do and that is to make a double now that will be a takeout double not a penalty double so we're not saying to east i don't think you can make two clubs we'll be saying to partner i'm short in clubs i'm short in my opponent's suit i hold the unbid suit but there is only one unbid suit here which is spades so it would tell partner that i've got four spades but it would be leaving the decision up to partner because somehow here we need to find out what our partnership's best fit is and at the moment um, we don't seem to have one so let's try the double and see where that goes okay pass from west and indeed we've got a two spade bid from partner so partner is showing me four spade support uh, in response to the double i'm not going to go any further here. I think we've uh, probably gone as far as key thing is that we haven't given in to the two club bid. And um, we are going to play in two spades and hopefully make a positive score. So let's see how that might play out. And here we are. Okay, so we've got um, an opening lead of the ace of clubs from east. We're going to lose the ace and king of clubs, clearly, and we're going to lose the ace of spades. I think we can, um, we're going to make four spades here. I think we can um, rough one of the, uh, one of our diamonds uh, in declarer's hand. So I think we've got four spade tricks. We've got three heart tricks, four, five, six, seven, and then we've got two diamond tricks so we're going to uh, make nine tricks just quickly looking at east west i think they could probably pull off their um their two clubs so um i think we did well to outbid opponents here and we should get a plus score for that i hope this has been a useful example for you when opponents overcall, remember to consider all your options before simply giving in and passing, allowing them to run away with the contract. Remember that the takeout double shows shortage in a, your opponent's suit and asks partner to bid whatever they think is going to be the best place for you to play in, given the auction so far. Okay, well, good luck with trying it out.